hey lovelies welcome or welcome back to my channel this is the home of peace love and joy if that's your kind of thing please make sure that you hit that subscribe button and don't forget to press the bell notification icon so that you'll be notified each and every time i drop new stuff on today's video i want us to take a deeper look at the issue of hair loss now there are two types of hair loss the first one is chronic hair loss whereby you will never ever ever be able to regrow your hair if you lost it due to the reasons of the factors of chronic hair loss but on today's video i want us to focus more on the second one which is the hereditary hair loss Hereditary hair loss can be genetic and you can inherit it if it runs through your bloodline. It affects both men and women. In men, if your grandfather had a bald spot like right here, possible chances are your father will also have a bald spot on the same area. Chances are you will also have a bald spot on the same area when you reach a certain age because it runs through your bloodline is genetic. Hereditary hair loss affects mostly your scalp but can also be available in other parts of your body. Although it is very stressful and painful but in most cases it can be treated. Of course there are other factors that may lead to hair loss that I'm going to mention here on this video. You may not relate with these what I've mentioned right now but I'm pretty sure that you relate with them. We have alopecia areata, which is the disease whereby your body's immune system attacks hair follicles. With alopecia areata, you can lose hair anywhere in your body, including in your scalp. Regrowth is possible, but if the hair fails to regrow on its own, a certain treatment may also help to regrow your hair. As you grow older, your hair starts thinning. That's because as you grow older, your hair growth cycle operates differently. The third one is cancer. If you undergo chemotherapy or you are under radiation treatment process, you may lose most of your hair or all of your hair within the first two weeks of starting your treatment. Regrowth is possible. Hair usually regrows on its own weeks after you are done with your chemotherapy. Both factor is childbirth, illness, or other stressors. During pregnancy, most hair is in the hair growth phase for longer. Hormonal changes that occur three to six months after giving birth and cause your hair to shed. This is called postpartum telogen afflivium. Stress hair loss typically occurs about three months after the stressful event. You may be going through a difficult time because of the death of a loved one or maybe you are going through a divorce and you will notice that your hair will start thinning, especially your edges. But good news is regrowth is possible. Next one is hormonal imbalance. The most common cause of this imbalance is called polycystic ovary syndrome. It leads to cysts on women's ovaries along with other signs and symptoms which can lead to hair loss. Stopping some types of birth control pills can cause temporary hormonal imbalance. Women who develop hormonal imbalance can shed hair. But good news is this can be treated. The next one is scalp infection. A scalp infection may lead to scaly or sometimes inflamed areas on your scalp. These are actually stubs of hair, but some people do develop bald spots. Growth is possible and treatment can get rid of the infection. Once the infection clears, hair turns or starts to regrow. The next one is medication. A possible side effect of some medications is hair loss. If you think that your medication is causing your hair loss, kindly ask the doctor that prescribed it to you if the possible side effect is hair loss. It is very essential that you do not 
do not stop taking your medication before consulting your doctor first. The next one is STDs. If they are left untreated, they may definitely lead to hair loss. Second last one is poor diet. Hair requires key nutrients including protein, B vitamin, zinc and iron to grow. The shortage of these nutrients may affect the quality and quantity of a person's hair. The last one is the hair care products that you use in your hair such as relaxers, hair dyers, hair dryers which is heat and what else they may tight hairstyles that causes too much friction on the scalp and this is where most of you are you are guilty don't try not to ask you are guilty of this one well don't be shy because you are not the only one i mean your girl right here is also guilty we're on the same boat okay so don't be shy but i'm gonna show you something that i've been using uh to fix some things and also to grow my hair these are the two products that i use on my scalp and on my edges actually i don't like applying grease on my scalp and on my edges but these are only two creases that i use i compromise with okay and they work wonders for scalp and for the edges as you have seen on this video this video was like taken um on in, what, 2020 maybe <laughs> and i've been using the same thing ever since for my scalp and for my edges so and you're gonna need an empty an empty container okay so you just take this and you insert it here Measurements are really not important. It depends on you how much you wanna use. This is a hair vision fertilizer. I got this one from Beauty Zone, and this one is simply just a soulmate um, African herbal hair grow. And obviously, with a spoon, you're just gonna scoop a little bit of this and add it on top of this. And with the <laughs> with the back of your spoon you just gonna mix these products together and they blend very well together if you do have an essential oil ooh, you can add it if you don't it's okay I don't have and I'm still applying and it's still gonna work so no problem and I move in with it starting on my edges Starting from my edges as you have seen guys on this video I barely had anything right here but look at your girl today the edges are trying to edge <laughs> I'm showing you guys stuff that works so make sure that you subscribe because why not guys as you can see this my hair is like pretty moisturized my hair strands look at this this is a moisturizer and if you did not watch the video where I was moisturizing my hair showing you guys how to moisturize my hair please go ahead and watch it and make sure that you subscribe for um, future uploads to help you grow your hair your hair should be moisturized because imagine trying to grow something on a dry land your scalp is like land as as i'm explaining this mixture the scalp is tingling and when you are done applying it you're just gonna like massage it in oh 
there's that tingling sensation which I like so much which means that my scalp is eating my scalp is happy and I like that for me I like that for my hair And voila, I'm done moisturizing my hair. If you did not watch my moisturizing video whereby I was moisturizing my hair strands and my ends, please go ahead and watch this video. It's gonna help you a lot. And here it's depleted, okay? So we used the whole thing and my scalp is happy. My hair is happy like cha. Thank you for watching. May the peace of God rule in your heart. I'll see you on the next video.